Right, this is less, uh, grade three, module five, lesson three. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at shapes, and we're going to be identifying the fraction. And we're going to be doing it by counting a bunch of unit fractions and putting them together to essentially make something that is no longer a unit fraction. So uh, before we talk about that, let's do a little bit of review on what a fraction means in the first place. So if we have this fraction 3 fifths, what does 3 fifths mean? So let's start with what does the 5 mean? So teachers, parents, um, review. You're going to have to review this with your students for <laughs> the next four years <laughs> because this is so important. So what does the denominator, in this case it's a 5, so what does that 5 mean? Well, it's the number of equal parts that the whole has been cut into. Uh, so in this case, it's 5. So the whole has been cut into 5 equal sized pieces. How about the numerator? What does the numerator 3 mean? What does that 3 mean? It means the number of equal parts that are being highlighted. It's maybe it's we we have three pieces, or we've eaten three pieces, or three of our pieces have been shaded in. And so that's what that numerator means. So the denominator, number of equal parts the whole has been cut into. The numerator, the number of equal parts being highlighted. Uh, teachers, man, you may want to consider making this a poster and sticking it up on your wall and having your students practice the meaning of the fractions every day. Okay, let's get moving. So in this one, we're being asked, uh, we're told that each shape is cut into equal parts. We're supposed to name the fractional unit and then count and, and tell how many of those units are being shaded. So the first one's been done for us, which is we can see that it's been cut into four equal parts, so that means those are fourths, and two fourths are shaded. All right. Now they're not asking us to write the fraction yet. They still want us to think about this as in two fourths. Like <laughs> another way to say it would be two one fourths has been shaded in is really how we want the students to be thinking about this at this point. We don't need them thinking about this fraction here. All right, so now let's look at this one. Well, it's been cut into one, two, three, four, five, so that's fifths. And let's see. One, two, three, four, four fifths has been shaded in. All right, so, oh, uh, let's skip all the way to this sneaky one over here. Well, it's been cut into halves, and zero halves has been shaded in. And on our last slide for this video, Anita uses one sheet of paper to make a calendar showing each month, month of the year. Draw Anita's calendar. Show how she can divide. So that's the biggie right there. Show Anita's calendar. Show how she can divide her calendar so that each month is given the same space. Well, the first thing we need to know is how many months in the year? Well, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, 12 months in a year. All right, so there's 12 months in a year. Now we have to draw a calendar that has 12 equal spaces. Boy, there's a variety of ways we can do that. Um, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think of this as, let's see, uh, 3 times 4 is 12, right? So there's a variety of ways we can get a, a tape diagram cut into 12 equal spaces. And the way, one way to do it is to think of 3 times 4. So I'm going to first cut my tape diagram into 4 equal size pieces. And the way I do that is I cut it in half, and then I cut each half in half. So there's my 4. And then I want to cut it each of those 
into three pieces. So one, two slices gives me three pieces. One, two, three pieces. One, two, three pieces. And one, two, three pieces. So that's a nice, easy way to cut a tape diagram into 12 equal spaces is use the fact that we know 3 times 4 is 12. So cut it into 4 pieces, and then cut each piece into 3 pieces. There's 4 times 3. Uh, now that's not the only way that we could have drawn our calendar. We could have done it like this. Let's see. Another way to do it is 3 times 4. Is We could think of this 3 times 4 and begin by saying, well, let's first cut it up into fourths. So that's four pieces, and remember, don't let your students get confused. Yes, we drew three lines, but we cut it into fourths, all right? Now, that's fourths. Now we're going to cut each one of those into three pieces. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And so there's another way we could have drawn our 12 calendars. And so the question is, what fraction of the calendar does each month receive? And the answer is one twelfth. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 3, where we are still talking about unit fractions with pictures.